Hello guys, today we have the second free video from latest course on Laravel exceptions and errors. The first one was yesterday. If you missed that, I will link that in the description below. So that one was about what to do in the catch block with examples. And today we'll be talking about Laravel APIs. Pretty typical scenario how API in Laravel returns the default error message, which could be improved. So have you seen this one? If you have find or fail, or if you have route model binding, this would be the message that Laravel would return. No query results for model, model path, and ID number. And this is quite bad in a few ways. So the first, it's not user friendly. So non-technical user would not understand that. If, for example, your front-ender returns the error message as it is without any filtering, then it returns the ID, which may be a security issue if someone tries to guess the IDs and maybe do something harmful with that. And also it returns the model class, which tells the potential hacker as well that it uses Laravel, that it uses such and such model structure, which is a data leak, which is in theory a security issue. But even if you don't care that much about security, let's say that it's not user friendly in the first place. So how do we override that message? So for example, you have something like this, so find or fail, or you would have user user here as a parameter for route model binding, and you can override that without any try catch in the official documentation. They say that you could go to handler PHP, which is by default in Laravel and provide this. This renderable, if there is not found HTTP exception, you just return whatever you want to return. And don't forget the status code of 404 because status codes are really important in the APIs. But you can override the message to whatever you want. But the problem with that approach is that it is global for all the models, for all the cases of not found HTTP exception. But maybe you want to override the message only for specific controller API endpoint or for specific model. So that resource not found would be global, but let's take a look if you want to perform something for a specific model. So here's where you would use try catch and with try user find or fail, you could catch specific exception and provide that user is not found. And you could also catch multiple exceptions. So in case of model not found, it's user not found, but in case of any other exception, you may even provide the error code of 500, which means this means not found, kind of a validation error, and 500 means something went really wrong on the server. So this is where try catch is useful to override the default behavior of this exception in the APIs for specific controller and endpoint. And this is an example of catching multiple exceptions, for example, from the package, maybe use something for incomplete data or no access or something like that. So there could be many catch blocks in one try statement. So this is just a quick example how you could override the default API error from Laravel. And again, if you want the full course, the link will be in the description below. This is a text-based course about exceptions, PHP errors, with examples of DB transactions and other stuff. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.